Okay, I've got my stator on, and um, now we want to make sure that our cylinders are top dead center. You can see they're down low, they're not up high here in the cylinders. We're going to make sure that the pistons are up at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and advance the stator, and you can see, I'll just go ahead and advance it again. Pistons come up, that's top dead center right there. When I put the rotor on, I'll show you. You can see when that's on, the timing mark will line up with the stator. Now when you go to put the stator on, make sure that those two little prongs right there are down, down low. If they're hanging out, they're sticking out like that at an angle, when you go to put the singing, chances are they're not going to sit back down in there. Okay, so um, I've got the stator and rotor on, you can see there. And we're just a little off top dead center. Okay, I've got the stator and rotor on. You can see there's our timing mark right there. That's our timing mark, and it's just a little bit off. Let's see. That, that's top dead center. I've got my cam chain all the way to the length that I need it to be at. Uh, the camshaft is down low because I took the bearings off. And here's my master link. I'm just going to go ahead and add this. These are just uh, zip ties that I'm using on, like so. Now my cam chain is on. Here's my link. And the mark that we need to be looking at here, uh, and I'll get to that in a minute, but this line right here, we want to make sure that that line is pointing vertical with the, the alignment of the engine so it needs to be right there okay it, it looks a little off on the camera but the the engine is at a slight angle and it lines up that's how you can put this on without having your bearings on here if you had the bearing on this side it gets really tight and I don't think you can really pull that around with this bearing on. I tried it before and it's just so tight you just won't have room for it. So uh, one way to do that is but you can tap the bearings on with the large socket afterwards. Okay so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my driver put it in the inside of the shaft and I'm gonna I'm lifting up and I'm just gently tapping the bottom of this in. needs to be on the side of that. This one's already on on this side. I tried to use a rope earlier to pull it up and that just didn't work. I've got a uh, one and a, and a quarter socket and I'm going to use that to just tap it around the very edge. Just tapping it along the outside, moving it in there until it's on the way on. And that's a little too far. I can move it back out I think. Okay, so one bearing's on. I gotta just slide the other one on here. Just go along the outside of it. Just and there it's in. See how we're lined up here on the grooves? There's little notches. You don't want the bearings to go in any further than that. During all that hammering, I popped off this master link. Uh, cover and I was really concerned that it had fallen down into the engine which would be catastrophic at this point but it's actually sitting right under the camshaft I got so lucky uh, it's just sitting right under there so one thing to do maybe when you're doing this put a piece of tape over this link just so that doesn't pop off um, and double check your lines always before you hammer this link on double check all your lines so you're confident that you're top dead center and you're ready to go before you hammer that link down